Hello, welcome to Easy Excel. My name's Chris, and on this channel we teach you how to make Excel work for you. Okay, so today we're going to look at a few different formulas. Uh, I've put them onto a Word document, and I'm going to explain uh, some of them, not all of them today. Okay, so we've got a few different types here, and the one that I'm going to look at is Refresh All. Now, this is something, it's not actually a formula that you would type in, it's to do with macros and VBA, okay? And the, the reason you would use this is when you want to refresh data, such as a pivot table, okay? So I'm going to go through it now. So here we have a macro, and all this does, based on what we did in our previous video, is sorts this table out in date order. So any new entries that are added, doesn't matter when when they're added for, what date, you can do it in any random order. Press update and it will slot them in where they need to go. Okay, so if we needed to run a pivot table off of this table, then we want that to stay up to date with any changes. But unfortunately, with pivot tables, you can only set them to update either the next time you go into the file, it will update itself automatically, or you have to manually refresh the pivot table. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to build the refresh code into this update button, which is going to get pressed all the time. And that way, without even having to think about it, users are refreshing any pivot tables that we would add. So we haven't even had any pivot tables yet, but it's just because I'm all about setting us up for success and uh, we don't want to later on be flailing around. We're going to add this code into this macro now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it. And then there's a few ways we can edit the macro. Because it's already assigned to a button, I'm going to right click on the button and I'm going to go to assign macro and I'm going to press edit. And now we just need to choose in this code where we want the refresh um, command, if you like, to be. So I'm going to put it just so we don't mess, up, mess with any of this code, I'm just going to put it afterwards. So sub is the beginning and end sub is the end so we don't want to put anything after end sub because it, it's not going to be included we want to put it within between sub and end sub but we don't want to just randomly put it in the middle of these okay so we're going to put it on the next line down so after this is done what it needs to do and it's gone through all these different options and it's sorted the table it's then going to refresh all okay once you've entered that, all you have to do is, you don't have to like press save or anything, you just cross it off and that will be saved in the VBA, okay, in the code. So if we go back into that, assign macro, you'll now see active workbook dot refresh all is at the bottom. And that's easy when you know what the code is, okay. So if I press update now, does what it's supposed to do and it's got that secret refresh all hidden in there too but so in the future anything that we create it's going to just refresh everything so it's great um but what if you don't know what that code is to add how would you find it out okay so an easy way of doing that is by recording a macro to discover the code you need all right so go to developer record macro. I'm going to call this one refresh. Press OK. So now you'll see it's recording. We've got the option to stop recording. So it's going to record our mouse clicks now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to data and now you see this refresh all option here. Go to drop down and I'm going to click refresh all. So now this macro has recorded that I've pressed refresh all. So I go to developer and I stop recording. 
If I go to macros now, you'll see the refresh macro that we've just made is there. You can step into it or edit, you know, either one. And you'll see that the only action we did on that macro when we recorded it was to go to data and refresh all. And that is the code that it has recorded. So that action is, is that code there. So that's how I found it originally. You don't have to know all the codes. Record whatever, whatever action you want to do. Find the code. And then what you could literally do is, obviously I had it on a work docu Word document. You could copy it from here. And you could paste it straight into the other one. Um, this is something I've not covered yet, which I will cover in a... Well, I could cover it now, I suppose. But I'll cover it in full in another video. But here you've got modules. And this is within VBA. Shows you what sheets you've got. And it's got the modules. So this module that we're on now is module 2. That's because it's the second macro that we've just made. So I've just copied that. So if I double-click on module 1, it's going to open up the macros contained within that button we've just been looking at and you can see that it's already got active workbook dot refresh all at the bottom so i could within vba without even clicking the button just flip between modules and copy and paste bits of code into this one until i've got a full working macro button doing everything i want so as time goes on we will be editing this more and we will add more commands into this button to get it to do more but for now, hopefully that's useful in you learning how to improve and add to an existing macro without having to re-record the whole thing. All right. Uh, I think that's enough, actually. I think that's quite good to show you at this stage. And I don't think we need to go into any more detail than that. And at a later date, when we do do the pivot tables and we do various other activities on this, you'll see how, that, how easy it is and you'll be so glad that we've put that code into that update button to make things a lot more simple. All right, so my name's Chris. Easy to tell. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully this channel can grow and grow and become a good source of information for people wanting to make Excel work for them. That's, every, that's the whole aim of this channel, just to help people work smartly. All right, thanks for watching.